Hi everyone, uh, my name is Calvin Wright and first of all, shout out to BGN's JA for allowing me to use your platform to hopefully sprinkle some inspiration on your timeline today um, by sharing my story. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm currently pursuing or starting my PhD journey at one of the top business schools in the US at Berkeley, um, where I'll be researching um, issues of race in the financial markets. Um, and I'm working with some of the top professors in the world, really, um, some of whom have even won the Nobel Prize in Economics, which is really interesting. Uh, but if you do know me, though, you definitely know that my journey did not start here, right? So I grew up in Walton Park, where in Kingston, Jamaica. You know, I feel get to get a little bit me, right? Um, I grew up in a single parent household. I know what it's like to have your family members like, suffer from gun and gang violence and having little to no recourse because of how lacking the legal system is. Um, I know what it's like to grow up with less than what you need um, to be successful, right? Especially compared to um, your like similar counterparts, right? Um, but that never really affected me because I had a mother who was just really unrelenting, right? So my mother dropped out of high school when she was 15, when she was pregnant with my older sister. And so she made it her duty to make sure that me and my siblings had the best opportunities possible, um, right? And so that helped me to do so much, right? And that placed me at, um, at St. George's College for high school, um, which was my first choice after GSAT. You know, I went to George's, I did pretty well. Um, I got like all ones in C except for I think ADMAT. Um, I went to K, did pretty well as well, you know, ranked in the Caribbean for certain subjects. Um, and then I eventually became the head boy at George's, um, which was um, a, a great experience as well. Um, but then at the end of sixth form, I had a very important decision to make. I had gotten a full scholarship opportunity um, in Jamaica to pursue law at UWE, um, but I knew I wanted more for myself than what I thought UWE could then offer. I wanted to expand my horizons and pursue something that was probably not law or as what, what I considered at the time to be as limiting as law. Um, and so I turned down that full scholarship to take a gap year, um, during which time I worked, I did a bit of traveling, I did the SATs. Um, to prepare to go to the US and fortunately I got a full scholarship um, from Lafayette College which was established in honor of Porsche Simpson Miller um, for one top Jamaican student every year. I did that and then I did well at Lafayette, graduated, I, I interned at, you know, on Wall Street, um, I did research on like some, some very important issues um, and so I had a very interesting time at, at Lafayette as well. Um, but that's just a synopsis of my story. Um, I, I really wanted to spend or to use this time to say if you feel that you know that you weren't dealt the best cards in life, right? If you feel that your situation isn't ideal, um, if you feel like you know people have much more of a head start than you are um, to accomplish things, and you know you, you're finding obstacles almost insurmountable, I just wanted to like, share that you can do it. You know whatever it is that you want to do. Um, and sometimes all it takes is just some advice and some support or a good support system like, my, like what my mother was to me. Um, and really, if I get a youth like me from Walton can do it, my hope is that any other get a youth can have the same challenges and opportunities that I did. And I genuinely believe that you know, with the right support system, we can do it. And so if you're looking for a reminder or a sign that you know you should keep going and just press it and, and just, just continue to work this is your sign right now right and so good luck um, keep grinding and honestly let me know if i can help in any way possible